we got? What we got? What we got? It's a shot. And there's the shot, and he only gets one checker off. And Sean Casey, this is presumably his last shot. He takes a deep <laughs> breath. He knows that the whole championship is on this roll. This is it. This and is it. Even after he hits, he will go uh, uh, a healthy favorite, but he, he still hasn't won it. If he hits, he's not a favorite to hit. 11 in 36. Oh, this is Come good. on, Sean. Sean, you can pull this out. He's is it? Ace. <laughs> nice. And he's got full control of the outfield. That must make him a tremendous favorite. Listen to that crowd, John. Everybody is going crazy. The oh. percentages on the screen are going to reverse now. That is painful. Urk, so there you go. Reversed. Flip. Uh, an excellent entry number for, for Nolar Gagua. Get the end oh, of the prime. His body language, he doesn't like it. 5-2, no hit. All right, here you go. Hail Mary full of grace. Now, this is all part of uh, Gagua's residual equity after he gets hit. Uh, Sean cannot hit him here. Technically, he can. He can hit him with a two off the four. Oh, he can't destroy the board. But he wouldn't do that. And Sean will just try to uh, take control of as much of the outfield as he can. Looks like the audience is uh, shouting out some uh, instructions to Sean pr or prayers. Oh, what has he got? All right, everybody into the pool. Okay, this looks like the best play to me. He he seems to have very adequately covered the outfield. So any non-hitting number from Gagua and. Sean five Casey, 5-2, and Sean Casey happily has 36 hitting numbers here, <laughs> guaranteed to hit. And surprise, surprise, he hits. And hits. And, and once again, he will he will get control of the outfield by playing and 10 to, yeah, that's the play, Sean. He's looking to extend his prime. Mm -hmm. He knows that to win this game and the match and the championship, he has to make a six prime or close out that final a fan. yellow checker. Uh, here we go. So this is far one. from over. Yep. There's the five prime. Only two six now for Gagua to come in and escape. Nope. Another two six. And that's the six there prime. There it is. Well There's played, the sure. prime. Uh, beautifully, beautifully played from there. Oh. And so now he knows. Slot it. Let's go extend that prime. Yep. Now that he's got the six prime, that's an impenetrable prime. He knows he can slot the front of it to try to extend its length. So he'll extend it with the four, and he'll play the five from the back. Yep, this is all pretty elemental. He's, uh, that ace shot is so huge. To think you have that game won, the championship. And he'll play two checkers in to the high points here, and as soon as he can, he will slot the ace point to try to make the ace point oh, so God. that he can complete the closeout. A $33,000 one there, John. Well, there's the closeout. And all Sean Casey yet. has to do now is, is bear his checkers off uh, before Nodar Gagua enters that sole yellow checker. Gagua has five checkers borne off already. Uh, this leaves uh, him with a round four, of, three? Well, before that roll, he had a round of 20% chance of uh, winning this game and match and championship. Uh, I think that 20% will climb now. Well, he's definitely got an, another angle to look at here. He's, Sean needs to get these checkers off and fast. Only one off. And, uh, well, you say only one off uh, Carter, but he's looking at taking two off. And, in fact, if he concludes that his man is going to win if he rolls a six, then he should leave it there. He uh, does roll six, a six. Four. You got a Sean. You have to go to the whip here, buddy. And this, this, a double oh, six for Sean. This could easily oh, lock the whole championship up. Oh, no. And oh, the very flunk. worst for Nodar Gagua. Flunk. You see the way he threw that checker in that corner. That is not what you want to see. It was, uh, it was with disgust, I, I th uh, dis Disdain. The worst possible exchange in a race in backgammon. Double six for the opponent and 2-1 uh, 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 for the other player. Oh, Sean. Gagua down to 3% here. And double two for Sean is not so comfortable. <laughs> Gagua in terrible trouble here. 
Oh, oh double but, uh, force? Double four. Oh, Gives him a breath of hope. He's already kept this match alive once with a two laugh one, and he misses a check. And two one for Sean Casey. It's oh, the worst God. possible number. It's the only number that's going to cost him an extra roll. And Gagua suddenly smells the possibility. He needs a set here. Five four. Okay. Five four, and I think Gagua is down to five checkers. And Sean Casey's down to three checkers. And Gagua, He's got two rolls for a set he here. A, he needs a double. Two rolls for a set. Okay. Six three. Six, three. And he'll take the two checkers off. It was deceptive, but there were still three left, yep. and that is critical because Sean, okay. and Sean Casey doesn't roll the double, and the whole championship depends on a last roll situation with no dark Agua needing any one of six doubles to win the championship. And he's done it do once it. in this match, and he didn't manage to do it this time. Oh. He was desperately unlucky, and Sean Casey is the Riviera Cup champion 2002. What an incredible last game. Snatched the match from Gaguar the Jaguar. Sean Casey from Ireland, the Riviera Cup champion 2006. Sean, how good was that? Um, it was very good. It was very good. It was a little bit unexpected because uh, the game had a lot of twists and turns, but uh, it just had one last turn in the road for me. How was it psychologically when he rolled that double to survive in the match? You must have known you were 83% to win the championship at that stage. Yeah, um, I, I've had a very lucky tournament. So at some stage it turns. Um, so 0-5, it turned for me. Then it turned back for him. But it, it was that sort of tournament. You played with an excellent error rate of 6.1 and your opponent played with an error rate of 7.9 and the luck was apparently even in that final match. Okay. Well, you know, statistics and statistics. Yeah, sure. Um, it's an exciting old game. It's about 40 degrees on the stage. Your heart is pounding. Your pulse is well over 100. And staying calm and playing some dice, uh, it's a good challenge. Will you be back next year to defend your title, Sean? Yeah, hold me back, absolutely. The Sean Casey fight back in this match started when he shipped over a two cube in this position. Nodar Gagua correctly took. Sean Casey hits that blot in the outfield and he ended up gammoning Gagua to pull four points back and almost level the match at 5-6 in Gagua's favor. There are going to be some sore heads in Cannes this morning, but what a night. The Casey Gagua final has to be one of the most thrilling games of backgammon I've ever seen. An emotional roller coaster, yes, but I hope you enjoyed the ride as much as I did. From the World Series of Backgammon here in Cannes, goodbye and good luck. <laughs>